Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial, guys, I'll be showing you how to on the Samsung S22 Ultra. This will also apply to any Note line of device since they are similar. And what I'll be showing you to do, guys, is to fix any connectivity issues relating to the S Pen. So, of course, the S Pen, which is um, here, um, is connected wirelessly. As it says, it's shown here, the signal strength, 100 and it shows that it's connected. Sometimes it will lose its signal and it won't be able to communicate with the um, phone. In this case, I'll show you how to recalibrate your S Pen so it can actually start working again. So it can connect it in cases you have any form of um, connectivity problems and your device is warning you that it cannot connect to the pen. This will also work for the S Pen disconnected error if you're getting that particular error or it just went offline. All right. So the first thing you want to do, guys, in case you're getting any form of visible error in the notification area, go ahead, guys. And of course, um, if you're having the problem in the notification area, tap the error and of course hit retry. And of course, it will try to reconnect. Um, it might miss one or two times, but if it says it didn't connect, try again. Um, if that doesn't work, reboot the phone. And of course, after rebooting the phone, make sure that you um, try again. And if that doesn't work, guys, it's time to go into something more serious. So you're going to go into the settings of the S Pen. Now, you might not notice, but there's a S Pen setting. So go into your settings. Once you're in settings, you're going to search for um, advanced features. On the advanced features, you'll notice there's an option here that says S Pen. Go ahead and select S Pen. Now, of course, um, this is a good menu to know for your S Pen as it gives a lot of functionality. Notice that there's a whole lot of stuff in here um, related to your S Pen that you can customize, either turn on or turn off or modify. And of course, um, the one you want to go to now is the one that says Ear Action. So go ahead and tap Ear Action. Now, as it says here, it says available 100%. And of course, here it's the controls for the S Pen. So go ahead from here and tap here that says more options and you'll see two options right here let me move it closer as you can see here guys um, it will give you two options it still give you the option to reset the s pen or scan for s pen and the first optional advice that you use is to use a scan for s pen so in case it's not being detected go ahead and scan for the s pen and notice here it will run it through um, the um, options this connection button there's a button on here it will um, allow for a connection. It says press and hold the connection button on your S Pen for three seconds until the LED starts blinking. All right. So go ahead and do as it um, identifies and simply run through the process and it will guide you through connecting. Um, it should connect once you do all of that. I'm not going to go through the entire process. All right. If that doesn't work, go ahead and do a reset of the S Pen. Sometimes it's uncalibrated. Um, it got into an error and it's not connecting as it should anymore. And what you want to do in that case is do a full-on reset. So in terms of reset, go ahead and tap. And it's going to tell you what to do in terms of inserting the S Pen and running through the process. Um, of course, I am not going to do that on mine. Notice it's still connected as mine is working fine. But if you run through both processes, it should help you in fixing the issue. It's quite easy. It's an on-screen tutorial that guides you through the process. Once you do that, you should get back S Pen functionality. And just to review, make sure that if you're getting any form of error, tap on the error and hit the retry. Um, rebooting tends to help. Um, if not, you can also try inserting into the cradle, removing it from the cradle. Try refreshing the error on screen that says retry. If not, go into the settings I just showed, run through the process of scanning. If it doesn't find it, go to the reset option. And the reset option should help you in calibrating the pen and of course in no time again your s pen should be working all right i hope this was useful if you have any feedback as always guys please do so in the comments ricardo gardner from blog tech tips saying bye until next time bye guys